Welcome, dear viewers, to a captivating journey through the culinary world of the Vikings. Today, we delve into the question that has piqued the curiosity of many. What tantalizing delights grace the Viking dinner table? Join us as we explore their eating habits, crops, and livestock, unveiling the secrets of the Viking menu. Now, you might imagine the standard Viking to be just like any other average person during the feudal period, tilling the land and rearing animals, and you wouldn't be too far off. The Vikings, living in a northern climate, skillfully cultivated crops that thrived in their native soil. Barley, oats and rye were their agricultural staples, providing sustenance for these intrepid explorers. But hold on, there's more to the story that meets the eye. Let's embark on a gustatory adventure and discover the rich tapestry of Viking cuisine. Picture this, their plates brimming with delectable meats acquired from the livestock they raise. Cows, horses, oxen, goats, pigs, sheep, chickens and ducks all contributed to the Viking diet. They harness the bounty of the land to nourish their bodies and fuel their endeavours. But that's not all. The Vikings, resourceful as ever, didn't limit themselves to their own farms. They cast their nets into the depths of the sea and ventured into the wild, hunting for sustenance amidst their local wilderness. Survival was no easy feat in those harsh and demanding times, but the Vikings persevered, embracing their environment to eke out an existence. So, imagine the scene. A modest Viking farm. Not expansive, but certainly large enough to provide for their own family. The Vikings cultivated crops, reared animals, and took pride in their self-sufficiency. With determination, they nurtured the land, ensuring their tables were never empty. However, one intriguing detail presents a challenge. The Vikings were not known to document their culinary creations in cookbooks, leaving us with a gap to fill when it comes to their recipes. Yet, fear not, dear viewers, for our journey into Viking gastronomy shall not be deterred. Through historical research, archaeological findings, and the whispers of ancestral wisdom, we aim to paint a vivid picture of the staples that adorn the Viking diet. Join us as we uncover the secrets of their sustenance, one delicious morsel at a time. Prepare to be enthralled by the mysteries that lie within the Viking food menu. While the specifics of their ancient recipes may elude us, we know that grains played a prominent role in the daily Viking diet. Picture the Vikings tending to their fields, meticulously nurturing oats and barley. Knowing that these precious grains would be transformed into a fundamental element of their cuisine. With great care, they harvested the grains, transforming them into flour, which in turn became the dough for their beloved flatbread. Over an open fire, on a rustic griddle, this dough would take shape, providing sustenance and nourishment for their warriors. Now, you may be surprised to learn that the Vikings also embraced the colourful world of vegetables. Despite their rough and rugged image, these intrepid explorers understood the value of a well-rounded diet. Their farms bore witness to a bountiful array of vegetables, cultivated with love and care. But it wasn't just the fruits of their labour that adorned their tables. The wilderness also contributed its share. In their repertoire, you would find the likes of cabbage, onions, garlic, leeks, turnips, peas and beans. Yes, the Vikings celebrated the Earth's bounty, incorporating these vibrant vegetables into their daily meals. Oh, the wonders that cabbage could create, serving as a shining example of the crops that form the basis of Viking food. Of course, vegetation alone would not sustain uh, these hulking figures. They required a reliable source of protein to fortify their bodies and propel them through their daring exploits. As we mentioned earlier, the Vikings excelled in the art of livestock husbandry, rearing a diverse array of animals. This vast selection of protein found its way onto the Viking menu, adding depth and richness to their culinary traditions. Some of the offerings that would have been common, succulent beef, savoury goats, tender pork, hearty mutton, and flavourful lamb. The ever-present poultry would be in there too, and in times of dire need, even horse meat graced their tables, reflecting the resourcefulness of these resilient souls. But the Vikings were not content with merely consuming the meat of their livestock. No, they were a people that knew how to make the most of their precious resources. The animals they tended served a dual purpose, providing not only sustenance, but also additional treasures to enrich their lives. Take, for example, a cow. 
These noble creatures would often live out their twilight years, not meeting their fate for their meat alone. The Vikings understood the value of dairy, and they would skillfully milk the cows, transforming the liquid gold into a myriad of delights. From the milk they harvested, they crafted cheese, skir, a traditional Nordic yogurt like delicacy, curds and butter. With skilled hands and a reverence for their resources, the Vikings transformed milk into edible wonders, adding a new dimension to their feasts. Both duck and chicken eggs played a vital role in their diets, providing a steady source of nourishment. These oval gems gathered with care added richness to their meals, showcasing the resourcefulness of these remarkable seafarers. But the Vikings were not only masters of the land, they were skilled fishermen and hunters as well. Living in settlements typically located along the coastlines, they embraced the bounties of the ocean and nearby freshwater sources. With deft hands and unwavering determination, they cast their nets and lines, capturing a diverse array of fish. Indeed, fishing held such prominence in the Viking way of life that it is estimated to have constituted a remarkable 25% of their diet. So imagine the scene. A Viking would rise at the crack of dawn ready to tackle the day's challenges with a strict schedule to adhere to. They toiled diligently, tending to their fields, harvesting their crops and embarking on hunting expeditions. Seasonality dictated their choices and they seized every moment to make hay while the sun shone brightly. The first meal of the day, known as the Dagmal or Day Meal, greeting them one or two hours after their labour had commenced. For the adults, this typically involved savouring the remnants of the previous night's stew, relishing the flavours that lingered in the cauldron. Bread and fruit, if available, accompanied this, accompanied this morning meal. The children, on the other hand, delighted in a hearty serving of porridge, complemented by a combination of bread, dried fruits, or refreshing buttermilk. As the day drew to a close, the Vikings gathered for their second and final meal, known as Natmal, or the Night Meal. With weary bodies and fulfilled souls, they celebrated the fruits of their labour. Steaming bowls of fish or meat stew, brimming with seasonal vegetables, graced their tables. Bread served as the perfect companion, ensuring no drop of broth went to waste. And on occasion, the Vikings indulged in the sweetness of fruits or nuts, tantalisingly enhanced by the golden touch of honey, their sole available sweetener. To accompany their hearty feasts, the Vikings savoured their homemade concoctions. Ale, mead and buttermilk flowed freely, providing both refreshment and a, a taste of their artistry. The Vikings possessed the skill set to craft these libations, transforming humble ingredients into spirited elixirs that enlivened their gatherings greatly. So now let us delve into the exhilarating world of a Viking feast, where merriment and revelry knew no bounds. These grand gatherings were held for a myriad of reasons, each occasion carrying its own unique significance. Seasonal festivities such as winter nights and jewel ushered in the changing tides of the year. Harvest festivals like the joyous Mabon celebrated the abundance bestowed upon them by fertile earth. Religious rituals, steeped in ancient beliefs, forged deep connections between mortals and the divine. And let us not forget the intimate affairs, where weddings and triumphant raiding voyages were celebrated with great pomp and splendour. Unlike the organised and hierarchical religious systems of the Christian world, the Norsemen's spiritual practices were centred around the family and the community. At the turning of the year and during religious observations, the Vikings engaged in solemn ceremonies. Horses, among other animals, were offered as sacrifices, their blood ceremoniously sprinkled upon altars, and as the flames of the sacrificial fires crackled, the meat from these revered creatures would later grace their feasting tables. Such offerings symbolised the Vikings' unwavering allegiance to their gods, a testament to their, their profound devotion. A Viking feast was a sight to behold, the opulence of which depended on the host's wealth. However, regardless of social standing, all Vikings revelled in the abundance of the feast. These grand occasions granted them respite from their ordinary and tantalised their taste buds with a remarkable array of delicacies. 
roasted and boiled meats, stews and platters adorned with buttered root vegetables, verdant greens that greeted the plate with a sharp tang, and luscious fruits and nuts dancing upon the censers. Such were the treasures that filled their bellies and brought forth joy. And what Viking feast would be complete without copious amounts of ale and mead, eagerly enjoyed by all, while the affluent few would indulge in heady fruit wines. While major feasts could span an astonishing 12 days, minor celebrations and festivities were of a shorter duration. The enchanting winter solstice summoned Jewel, a time from December the 20th to the 31st, infusing our modern Christmas traditions with echoes of Viking heritage. The spring equinox heralded Ostara, a jubilant renewal festival that welcomed fertility back to the land. And the summer solstice marked the arrival of the Midsummer Festival, when foreign trade thrived and Vikings embarked on daring fishing and raiding expeditions. As August and September unfurled, the Vikings reveled in harvest celebrations, savouring the fruits of the land at their peak, preserving provisions for the imminent winter. It was during the autumn embrace that most weddings took place, uniting hearts amidst nature's vibrant tapestry. Families, communities and burgeoning towns would assemble for free festive occasions, setting long trestal tables adorned with benches, beckoning guests to partake in the merriment. Pork, oxen, horse meat, poultry, beef and a cornucopia of fish grace the banquet, accompanied by platters brimming with boiled or roasted vegetables. Freshly baked bread, butter, cheeses and delectable desserts intertwined with nuts elevating the culinary delights, and as they raised their drinking horns in homage to the gods, local chiefs and valiant warriors, wine would flow freely throughout the halls. Skulls, those gifted poets and storytellers, enraptured the crowd with sagas and verses, weaving tales that echoed through the long history of the Viking people. If you'd like to hear more about the most famous Viking Skald who is uh, a reason that we know so much about their history, do check out our video on Snorri Sturluson. I'll have the link here now for you. The culinary legacy of the Vikings, although elusive in written form, has left an uh, indelible mark on traditional Scandinavian food. While the Vikings in their age of audacious exploits did not diligently record their recipes, their path eventually led them to a new era of integration and transformation. As their way of life gradually shifted from its past of raiding and pillaging, the Vikings found themselves assimilating into the fabric of everyday Europe. This assimilation brought about a harmonious exchange of culinary practices, as the Vikings began to adopt spices and ingredients of their neighbouring lands. These newfound influences, blending with their traditional Norse food, birthed a vibrant fusion that would go on to define what we now know as traditional Scandinavian cuisine. Although the ancient Viking recipes, regrettably undocumented, possess their own allure and delectability, Scandinavian food has persevered through time, evolving into a tantalising array of flavours while still paying homage to its ancient roots. The spirit of innovation courses through the veins of Scandinavian chefs who tirelessly reproduce, recreate and reinvent these age-old recipes. With a firm grounding in their heritage, they form a head into the new age, crafting gastronomic marvels that would surely make their ancestors beam with pride. Oh, the marvels of culinary evolution. The Vikings, once fierce warriors of the seas, now have their legacy perpetuated on the plates of Scandinavians, a testament to the enduring power of tradition and the boundless creativity of those who wield their culinary heritage with reverence and innovation. Thank you again for watching the video, really appreciate the support on the last one. If you haven't already, do subscribe, 